all right um walmart sells all kind of stuff y'all y'all already know so and this thing is cheap i bought this from walmart it's a it's a um like a grilled cheese sandwich maker and basically it opens and it actually cuts whatever bread in half so what i'm going to do i'm going to plug it up because i have an inverter on my truck and instead of making a grilled cheese sandwich they got some already made chicken salad i already opened up one and i had already showed you guys that instead of using regular bread i'm using like a pita bread type style so basically i'm gonna take this and it's simple i'm not doing nothing spectacular all i'm gonna do is take one little jar of this chicken salad still healthy in the healthy range nothing too too crazy and i'm just going to spread spread it evenly on my pita bread put this right here and i'm going to get another pita bread and basically i mean i could eat it just like this i could eat it just like this but i want something warm because i'm about to go down the road this thing hot bro so i'm gonna put this thing right here and i'm gonna shut it you shut it and you lock it and you let it cook and it has a light I'm guessing when that light goes off, it's a done deal. So, let's let this cook for a little bit and I'll get back with you guys. Now it's always good to wash your hands before and after when you cook. Cause you know, salmonella is real. Salmonella is real. So, let me get my dowel. Kinda, well shoot, you never gonna have too much soap. But then again, yes, you can because you can't rinse it off. But let's do the 30 second rule get under your nails and everything. 30 seconds gets all the germs off. You don't just wash it for a quick two seconds, you're going to wash for 30 seconds or longer. You want to just wash and wash till you really feel like those germs and got up off your hands because this is how we stay from getting sick. That's why I don't like touching doorknobs, to be honest with you. Because motherfuckers don't even wash their goddamn hands. Motherfuckers be digging in their ass. Let me stop cussing, but people. People be digging in their butts. And they digging up their nose. And be going around touching stuff that other people got to freaking touch. So, let's see what we looking like. So, this is what we looking like. Obviously, some of it came out of the pita bread. But I don't care. I just want it to where it's hot. I want a hot meal. So I'm going to drink my yogurt with it. Let's get a plate. Of course, this is my food cabinet. So let's get a plate so I ain't got to worry about washing dishes. And now let's just pretty much scoop this or dump it onto our plate so boom and i gotta wash this off make sure you unplug it don't want to start a fire put everything back where you got it from yes and a sister got a basic ass chicken salad with pita bread warm meal and it tastes good you need that chicken salad cold or hot but i just had a taste of something hot and i done like i said i bought enough food to where 
There is no way I need to keep spending money out here. I got everything I need on my truck. So let me just use what I bought. So you guys have a lovely and beautiful day. Me and myself, this is gonna be really dinner because most likely if after I eat this, I ain't eating no more for the day. But deuces, I love you guys. I love you challenge. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for giving the love back. Until next time, see you later.